It's me again, Teacher Candy. Welcome, Grade One pupils, to our mathematical class. Today we're going to learn about order and sequencing. But the last time it was going up from small to big. Now we're going to join Teacher. Who was that? Who didn't we listen to? Teacher Naomi's class and get to learn how to order and sequence from biggest going down, 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 down to smallest. Are you excited like I am to get to learn like this from the biggest to this one bigger, big? And smallest. We're going to learn how to go down, 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 down to the smallest. Come with me, come with me. Let's enjoy the class. Good morning, teacher Naomi and how are you? I'm fine. How are you? We are fine, thank you. That's good. Welcome to our lesson today. We are going to learn uh, how we are supposed to order things or uh, items from uh, descending order. When you are told to order items in descending order, it means you start from the biggest object that you are given to the smallest. Are we together? Yes. Now, we can have different objects that we can order. We can have some books. We can have... Uh, the pens, but with me here, yeah, I have got different items. I have some balloons here, they are of different sizes. The purple one is of different size. Also, the green one, when you look at it, it is not of the same size with the first one. And the red one, also, it is of the same size. Are we together? Yes. I started by saying ordering from uh, descending means. You order from the biggest to the smallest. Are we together? Yes. Now, with me here, these three balloon, balloons that I'm having, I want to order them from the biggest to the smallest. Okay. When I look at the three balloons, the purple one is the biggest. Are you seeing this? Yes. The purple balloon is the biggest. So I place it there. I want to order them. Then I have a green balloon, it should follow because it's a bit bigger. Then uh, the last one, I have a red balloon, it is the smallest. So I have arranged them according to their sizes. Are you seeing that? Yes. Now, pupils, who can tell me? Which one is the biggest balloon? You say them according to colors. We have got purple, green, and red. So which one is the biggest? Yes, uh, Laura? Good. The biggest one is purple. Which one should, should follow? Which one should follow? Yes, Jason. The green one. That's good. And which one is the smallest? Yes, Maxera. Red one. Good. That's good of you. Let's do another example. With me here, I've got bottles of different sizes. We are still going to order them from the biggest to the smallest. Are you seeing the bottles with me? Yes. They are of different sizes. Okay? Yes. I have got a blue one. This one, the next one, and the other one. So I want to order them from the biggest to the smallest. Are we together? So let me arrange them. When I look at the three bottles, this is the biggest, followed by this other one here. Are you seeing the size? They are of different sizes. And the last one, which is the smallest, is a blue bottle. Are we together? Yes. 
So I've ordered them from the biggest to the smallest. Are we together? Yes. Now, I want to give some more examples on the board so that I can see whether you have understood how to order from the biggest to the smallest. That is in ascending order. Are we together? Boards here of the same size of different sizes. You pills? I've drawn some boards here of different sizes. Are you seeing that? Yes. I have got ball A. Ball B and ball C. We want to order them in descending order. Okay. Now, pupils, when you look at these balls, we want to order them in uh, ascend, descending order from the biggest to the smallest. Who can give me the biggest ball? Is it ball A, ball B, or ball C? Maya? Good. That is good, Maya. Maya told me it is ball A. So I draw it here. I want to order them. Which other one should follow? Yeah. Yes, Alexa. Yeah. Good. Ball B. B. I wanted to see whether you can be able to remember them. That this was a trick. And I arranged them first so that I can see whether you are able to remember that they should follow each other according to sizes. And I've seen you can remember. This was just a trick, that's why I drew them as I had ordered them. Good. And the last one? And the last one is ball C. That's good. Can you clap for yourself, learners? I give the last example. I'm going to draw some rulers here. The smallest now. The smallest. Chebon. 
and the smallest one is B. I've seen that most of you have understood what we have learned. So when I give you an exercise to do, I, I believe you'll be able to do it. Are we together, children? Yes. Yeah.